New this morning, the December fire that injured two workers and led to the shutdown of the massive Suncor refinery in Commerce City also polluted nearby Sand Creek with a chemical called benzene, which is a component of crude oil and gas. It is connected to cancers and blood disorders. Wanted to map out for you exactly where the refinery is and where Sand Creek is. They're right next to each other. We've highlighted the creek in green. It follows parts of I-270. The Denver Post says Suncor sent a letter to the state health department on Friday reporting the spill. The chemicals were washed into the refinery stormwater system and that runs into the creek. Hmm. Suncor says the contaminated water was isolated and treated, but the refinery also butts up mm -hmm. to Denver neighborhoods and people who live in the Elyria Swansea community are not only worried about what's in the water now, but what's in the air they breathe. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta shows us how the neighborhood is banding together and taking it on themselves to protect their families. For weeks, the Suncor refinery has been closed, but the neighborhood in its shadow is as open as ever. People driving to work, living their everyday lives, taking in a breath of air. We're breathing it in. Breathing this in, whether good or bad, is the reason Olga Gonzalez and a group of other women in the Illyria Swansea neighborhood got these air quality monitors. It'll tell us at what point we should be concerned and maybe decide to stay indoors and not have our children play outside. It's telling us at what level and it, and our um, data will tell us at what level is it of concern to people who have compromised immune system or children or anyone in general. It's a very complex monitor and inside are instruments that are measuring on a continuous basis what is in the air. So things like benzene and particulate matter. Because despite the refinery being closed until at least March, Gonzalez says the women who make up the group called Cultivando want to make sure their families are safe. We had community members, especially mothers, telling us that their children were sick, that they had nosebleeds, that they couldn't breathe. By making sure they're able to pick up on anything that might be harmful and so their kids can be here without concern. And Olga says that Cultivando actually partners with the company that's out in Boulder that then compiles all of the data that comes from those air quality monitors. She says they expect to get their hands on that data really soon and then hopefully be able to know what exactly is in their air. We're in Denver this morning. I'm Veronica Acosta. Denver I'm sure they will be going through that very carefully, Veronica, and, and this helps explain the concern as well. Air pollution is impacting babies even before they're born. A study from CU Boulder found infants scored lower on cognition, motor, and language tests if their moms were exposed to higher levels of air pollution towards the middle and end of their pregnancies. It's one of the first studies to find a link between prenatal pollution exposure and brain development in infancy.